Well, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Come back. I got a quick video for you and a little advice. What's going on? How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. This is a quick little video I want to put out there. I've uh, been helping a buddy of mine who's wanting to get, do some hiking. And um, so he's asking me for advice on Facebook. And so I gave him the advice he was looking for. Um, so I want to give you all the same advice. Okay. Um, this is on hiking. I know I haven't done any hiking in a while on the channel. I plan on getting back into that. But right now, um, he was reaching out to me and saying, hey, where are some good trails to go? Uh, pretty local, you know, Middle Tennessee area that were anywhere between a mile and five miles in distance. So I told him, you know, gave him a list of trails and everything and told him, you know, start start kind of simple work your way up don't try to hit a five mile or off the bat um, but if you see you know a 1.2 or a 1.5 and you knock it out with any problems well then you're ready to move on up to the next one two mile three mile whatever work your way up to them i don't want to send him down a uh, five mile you know um, deluge through the mountains and you know, up one peak, down the other peak, or anything like that. I want to start him out simple. And that's what he said, too. He wanted to start out kind of simple. And then work his way up to some of the more rigorous hikes. Uh, the advice I gave him were, here's some trails. And I told him the parks are the places you can find them. Gave him the mileage. Told him, you know, conditions can be this, can be that. You know, uh, different times of year. Uh, if it's been a rainy season, well, you could get, um, you could have a, uh, very muddy patches in the trail or you know e even during the dry seasons i've seen some of these trails that were just trash uh, they have natural springs or something that runs through them so when it rains they're a flooded mess um, but i also told him about uh, the app i use quite a bit was all trails and I still use it. I'll still use it when I go to start hiking again. Um, but I've always had great success around here with it. Now, I know some people have had some issues with it from time to time in different places. But uh, one of the main things I threw out at him, and I'm, and I'm going to demonstrate some of this here in just a minute, was number one, if you're going to use all trails and you're going to wherever you're going to, Download your maps ahead of time. That can be key. Um, Cedars and Lebanon State Park is one uh, one I'll give you a good reference of. Um, it's not far from the main city, but has some of the worst cell service I've ever had in a park. Well, no, I'm going to take it back. There's been some others. But for it to be where it is, it has some really bad cell service. And I have run across a time or two where I couldn't get a map to pull up because of the cell service was so bad. So I highly recommend to download the maps prior to going to the hike. You don't have to subscribe to All Trails if you don't want to. You can find other services out there. You can even get a map from the park office before you go on the trail. Just know how to read maps. I'm not going to give you a map reading course because it would sound like goobly goob by the time I got through with it. But I want you to make sure you have a map of some kind. Now what I am going to do is show you real quick on all trails how to download the map prior to and how to use the map once you're there. Okay, I've got all trails opened right now on my phone. And what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to pick one that I haven't done so i can show you so i'm gonna pick this one it's called shoots branch trail um it's a 7.2 mile trail this is a monarchly traffic and, uh, da, 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 da. i think this is a biking trail it is it's a biking trail it's okay we're going to use it for demonstration purposes only so what you do is you hit download it's that simple all trails app or all trails map so now it's downloading the map for me on my phone. 
Okay, now the phone is, or the map is downloaded onto the phone. So I can click on it, keep. So now we can go to the map. And from this point, if I wanted to start hiking it, I'd have to be there. But I could start hiking the trail. And here's the start, here's a starting point. Actually, you can start this trail anywhere. I know where this is. This um, campground, I, or this old campground, I've been to a couple times and have filmed there many times. But it gives you a demonstration of the trail itself. You can, here's your starting point. You can take this thing and move your finger across there and see the peaks and the highs, the valleys and the lows. So let me, whoop, let me back this thing up. And you can see your map right here. You can adjust your map. Uh, of course, if I was to hit center, it's going to take me home instead of to the trail. But the map is on your phone now. So you're good to go get there. If you have no cell service, you've already got the map. That's just one of the things I like about this app is being able to have the map in your fingertips at all times. Um, okay, if you've never used All Trails app before, it gives you direct. You can get directions to the trail that you're wanting to go to from your your place where you live, wherever you are, <laughs> where you're starting from, whatever. You can also share the trails, and you can navigate once you get there. So once you get to the starting point, you can hit navigate, and it'll start, you know, navigating you on the trail. Um, but it also gives you some good info about the trail it tells you it's a 7.2 mile it's 390 feet elevation gain in a loop so it's nothing real strenuous about this one i mean it can be but it's not if you're out of shape it is um but then also this one is i think it shows more yeah it tells you it's a mountain bike trail so you can go hike it and i have hiked it before but it can get kind of sketchy if there's a bunch of mountain bikers on it because you might get run over by a mountain biker. But, uh, and they've got them marked out too, family friendly trails. So it gives you a list of family friendly trails. Most of these are probably going to be paved. You also got best views nearby. So this is where people have said, you know, hey, there's some pretty good views at this place. Um, Volunteer trail. I've only been on so much of it. I can tell you it's a pretty decent trail uh, Cedar Hill Loop. Let's see But anyway, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video. I hope you know you got some information out of it You don't have to use all trails if you don't want to I like it. I've, I've had good success out of it It's got me to the trail around the trail and back to the vehicle many times um, I'm also going to highly recommend if you're into off-roading and stuff it's not a bad thing to have either for it um, of course I highly recommend Gaia for off-roading I've got that on my phone as well um, we've used Gaia many times we've also used all trails even when we've been off-roading and um, found some things that way so I guess my main thing was you got to remember is once you have the map on your phone, you're good to go if you lose cell service because the GPS part is always going to be working. Um, when you get into a heavy tree canopy, you may have some issues where it shows you maybe going off trail a little bit. But most of the trails that I go on and most people go on, they're trafficked trails and you're going to see it. Um, read the descriptions read the you know people's reviews of it now if you get somebody that's slamming the crap out of the trail judge for yourself okay when they're slamming it big time but you got 20 other people saying it's a nice pretty trail go check it out for yourself don't you know i, I have one that we did several years ago somebody was talking about this beast that was on the trail that they said it looked like a you know mean monstrous dog the only thing i ever passed was some guy walking a poodle type dog he didn't look too vicious 
in the area that it's in he might have seen a bobcat he may have seen a coyote but for the most part those critters are gonna they're gonna be gone the other way they hear you come crunching through the woods so not a big deal at all if you're if you're worried about that make sure you go with somebody and make plenty of noise when you're walking most of that crap's going to run the other way me myself and i i go kind of quiet because i don't, don't want to see that stuff i want to take pictures and video and that kind of stuff especially deer deer going to run if they hear you coming crunching down the trail but if you can sneak up on them and get that cool picture of a deer laying there in the meadow i've done that it's on video but uh so anyways, guys, that's just a little tip, tricks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, using all trails, using Gaia, using some of those services that are out there. Don't go blind. If the least amount, get a map off online and download it and take it with you and know how to read maps. That helps. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Just short, sweet, and trying to get you out in the woods. So, as we always say... Be prepared. See you on the next one.